Right. News 4 Transportation reporter Adam Tuss has more on the recovery efforts and what investigators say may have been able to they may have been able to find on that ship. Adam is live in Riviera Beach in Anne Arundel County. Adam, what can you tell us? Yeah, Millette and Leon, we hope to get some more information from that briefing. That should be coming up in just a few hours. In the meantime, we can tell you that the divers have been in the chilly waters here of the Patapsco River that goes out to the Chesapeake Bay all day long. The rain has been with us, but coming and going, as Doug has been mentioning. And then you can take a look at the ship that is still there, twisted up in the wreckage of what was the key bridge. And that picture should tell you about the speed of this process. It pretty much looks exactly the same as it did yesterday. And that's because this cleanup and recovery effort is gonna be meticulous. It's gonna take a long time. And yes, for the first time today, federal investigators expected to get on board that ship. Today, Coast Guard ships and other smaller boats circling tighter around the wreckage of the Key Bridge and the Dolly container ship while the search for clues and the missing continues. NTSB Chair Jennifer Hammondy lays out what federal investigators were eager to find while boarding the ship. Begin to gather information from the engine room, from the bridge, any sort of electronic logs, any sort of data we need to pull off. We'll, we'll document the scene with pictures. Engineers will also try to get an up-close look at what's left of the bridge itself to see what kind of condition it's in. But the main question that's still out there, why did this ship lose power and essentially coast into the pier of the bridge? Stefano Brizolara is an ocean engineering expert with Virginia Tech, and he says without power, the ship was helpless. This is a perfect example when regardless what you have on board of your ship, if you lose power, you can have whatever you like, but nothing will work. He believes a larger electrical power issue could be to blame here. And he says it's a lesson that tugboats should always be used to guide these ships in harbors, able to move them if need be. Meanwhile, NBC News senior correspondent Tom Yamas talking with the FBI dive team that's now basically working in darkness as part of the recovery effort. The only thing that gives any sort of image in the water is sonar reflecting an image to a monitor. We're searching for vehicles, uh, so you're looking for the shape of a vehicle. Um, sonar's off the bottom, or you're gonna, you know, the vehicle's gonna cast a shadow, so you're looking for a shadow with a certain height. So the divers essentially can't see anything? No, divers won't be able to see anything. They're gonna work by feel uh, with their hands uh, once we get on a target. An almost impossible task, combing through the vast waters here, sometimes by hand, to try to bring more closure to this incident. And back here now live, as you see the Coast Guard ships out there next to the second pylon of what was the Key Bridge. And of course, the Dolly container ship still stuck here, frozen in time. You know, guys, I thought that was a really interesting comment from that gentleman that we interviewed there about the tugboats. Mm -hmm. That's something that we just don't know yet about whether or not this ship was actually being guided out of the harbor. Um, and those are the kind of things that we're going to have to find from the NTSB when they start to release some of those details. I can tell you from dealing with the NTSB over the years, they only speak in facts. So whatever they found out today on board that ship, they'll release today. And all of this information will eventually come out, guys. Back yeah, to you. And, and Adam, no doubt whatever lessons they learn from this will probably be applied to every port oh, around yeah. the country to keep this kind of thing from happening again. So what we learn here could change everything I, I for every place across the country. Yeah, I don't see how this doesn't become a case mm -hmm. study, Leon, for going forward throughout the har harbors and ports around our country, for sure. Especially now that boats this size are coming through ports like this. And when it was yeah. built, it wasn't built. It wasn't intended for with, to work with yes, something like that. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Adam. Good work, Adam. Adam Thank Tuss you so much. Adam reporting live for us this evening.